Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about how to use the new buttons in Metaverse. We've gotten some new buttons and allows you to have a lot of different customizable options, so we're going to take a look at that in this video. Um, I'm going to leave a QR code on the screen for the next few seconds, which you can scan for yourself and experience the experience for yourself. Uh, the experience itself is going to be very simple, uh, but you can take a look at it if you'd like. All right, let's go ahead and get started by creating a new experience. And so now that we go into our storyboard, you'll see that when we click on an empty space within the character scene, uh, we have this new inspectable section here on the right hand side. And what this allows you to do is to customize uh, the buttons at the bottom. So if we click add action, you'll see that our regular button uh, sort of shows up here, but uh, click in an empty space, within the character scene and these options pop up so we have the option to have uh, square buttons, smaller rectangular buttons, uh, circle buttons. We also can adjust the uh, the number of columns allowed. So if you have multiple buttons in your character scene, so let's say we can add four buttons here and then we can adjust the number of columns and it will make it larger or smaller um, and will limit the uh, number of columns allowed in the character scene itself. The other thing you can do with the buttons is you have the ability to change the color of the buttons. This is a, a new option that previously was not available and it's awesome. You can put a hex value um, to put any color you'd like as the buttons. We also have some great presets uh, like this dark purple or this green uh, that you're more than welcome to use. Uh, you can't have more than six columns uh, per, but I don't imagine that you'll be uh, needing to use uh, more than six columns. So let's talk about a couple of different uh, configurations for buttons really quick. So if we delete this scene here and we add a new character scene, the first type of configuration for buttons that you can make is a directional pad. And so this actually requires uh, four buttons, so it'll be for up, down, left, and right, and again we click in this empty space uh, within the character scene. We'll switch that to uh, this, uh, this square here, and we'll have three columns allowed, but we'll still have four buttons, so you'll see this kind of looks like a directional pad, and then we can uh, label these accordingly, so we'll label that up, this one down, this one left, this one right. And all of these buttons function just like normal buttons, so for all of them we would need uh, to transition to a different scene. And so we can have them all transition to the same scene, we can have them transition to different scenes. So we'll make the left one the, uh, the correct direction to go. Okay, now let's just quickly add some characters. Maybe like look for a tree. Sure, the talking lady tree, and then we'll add this, uh, this other tree here and this uh, other tree here. And let's just also just give, uh, give a slice of bread. For, uh, for anybody that, that goes on the right path. So we'll say something like, which way should we go? And we have the options for up, down, left, right. I'll change this to green buttons. And we'll say something like, nice, we made it out of the forest. For this one, we'll say something like, Still need to keep looking. Make this one transition back. And actually, let's turn this one into a circular button. Uh, maybe we can have it be purple and we'll say back. That'll prompt the user to go back to the original scene. For this other one, let's have a button, circular button. We'll make that uh, yellow and we'll say uh, bread, and so then when they click on that, they'll get a, a slice of bread. 
And as always, don't forget to uh, name your scene. We'll call this one uh, New Buttons Example 1. Okay, so this is uh, how you use the new buttons. So to reiterate, if you click on the empty space within a character scene, you have the option of adjusting the uh, number of columns, the uh, style of buttons, so you have your regular bars, your squares, and your circles, and the color of the buttons. So we hope you learned a lot in this video, and we will see you next time.